I'm looking forward to voting for PC and Apprentice plan. How long have you been on drugs? Come on. The PC 10-year budget will be the best thing for Alberta. Didn't Prentice say he has Alberta under new management? And things will change with him? Yes. He says the PCs have disappointed many people and made lots of voters angry. And so he wants us to now vote for that party? What did Redford say three years ago? She said the PCs disappointed many people and made them angry, but under her new management, things will change. Sounds familiar. More of the same. But this time it's different. Brenda said so. The very same thing is different? Yes. What Redford did has no relevance now. Redford claimed there'd be no new debt, a balanced budget and no new taxes. Then she increased the deficit and reopened the debt. That was then. The Prentice budget moves forward from that. What did he do differently? His budget brings in a record deficit and increases the debt to over 30 billion in two years. And brings in many new taxes. More than Alberta has seen before. And that is moving forward? Um, yes. How long have you been on drugs? But you have to admit, it's better than the Wild Rose budget. We can't trust them when a volunteer makes a poster about pie baking. Are you freaking kidding me? An election has been called over the budget, and you're pretending to be upset over a pie ad? I think it was unfair to those women. They should be offended by it. I'm sure country women just love having city men tell them what they should be offended by, and what they should or shouldn't do in their own homes. Get a life if you want to make a deal out of that. Um, anyway. About the Wild Rose budget, several PC candidates announced that their budget doesn't add up and is unworkable. You mean that fake press conference they called, simply to trick the media into using their news broadcasts to carry a free attack ad all day? Yes, that. Wait. No. I mean... All they did was put on their suits, sit by some flags, then say a bunch of partisan nonsense. But they also said the Wild Rose won't release a list of their financial advisors. What a meaningless request. No party reveals that, not even the PCs. They are just deflecting to avoid talking about the facts. But the PCs don't need facts. Whoops. I mean, we should just trust them by what they say. They have made several claims and accusations against the Wild Rose budget, and they are refusing to step forward and back them up. So? There is no need to. Derek Fildebrand challenged them to a budget debate so they can back up their claims and both sides declare in public how their budgets work. The PCs refused. Many voters think they are hiding and are scared of this challenge. I say again. There's no need to. Comparing the two budgets isn't that important. You really need to slow down with the drugs. Prentice called the election a year early. Supposedly because his 10-year budget needed to be put to the voters. And now he refuses to debate on it? But if they declare the Wild Rose budget to be bad, isn't that good enough? If what they say about the Wild Rose budget is true, then they should be jumping at this debate. If they really believed it's so bad, a budget debate would totally sink the Wild Rose. Why are they hiding from that opportunity? Maybe they are scared and they don't even believe their own claims. That would explain a lot. Wait. I didn't say that. I'm sure they have faith in their 10-year budget. Then why are they already making changes and backtracking? Prendus has turned his 10-year plan into a 10-day plan. But he had to change it. He said it those points were not good and were a mistake to have in the budget. So first Prentice campaigned against the PC party by constantly saying how they lost their way and were not what Albertans wanted, and now he campaigns against his own budget, calling parts of it wrong and not what Albertans want? That's certainly what it looks like. This election gets funnier every day. But the rest of his budget is sound. I'm sure we can believe in it. Then he should have that budget debate. The Wild Rose isn't afraid to expose their numbers to the voters. Why are the PCs so afraid? This would be even bigger than the leaders debate. Can't we just go by faith alone? The PCs have a long record of managing the economy. Their record is nothing to be proud of. Prentice is even campaigning against it. Alberta just went through a period of record revenues, and the PCs, still, couldn't balance the budget. It's no wonder they just threw us into record deficit. Well, you can't just blame the PCs for that. It's not really their fault. 
Then whose fault is it? Yours. As an Albertan, you really should look in the mirror. It's thanks to people like you that the PCs are doing such a poor job. That's the most obnoxious thing I've ever heard. Who told you that? Prentice did. That means it's also your fault too. Gosh, I never thought of that. That would explain why he raised so many taxes. He blames us then simply hands us the bill. No imagination there. But I don't see any other way. They are our government. They don't have to be. Enough is enough. This has got to stop. It's time for change. Just because they have been in power so long, doesn't mean the PC party owns the Alberta government. Many people have had enough of the arrogance, entitlement and mismanagement. But they feel compelled to vote them in again. But how can that stop? If you're liberal-minded, there's three main parties on the left to choose from. The NDP are doing particularly well in some places. If you're more conservative, there's the Wild Rose. Unless they truly want that party, no one has to feel forced to vote PC out of habit. Alberta government needs a whole set of fresh faces and a whole new generation of leadership. It's got to stop. It's time for change. Is it too late to change my vote? 